of Prince. I forgot Steady about this. Steady starting shit. <laughs> Speaking of Prince, uh, the word has come out that the estate has been settled, right? Yep. Apparently, uh, the, the families uh, and primary wave, all the heirs are Ooh. now taking control of the estate away from the bank, Comerica, if not mistaken. And as assets are distributed, but apparently they have control. So would it be one part is a primary wave who has some heirs uh, shares, and then the other side was the ones who st stood uh, together outside of those organizations. But now they are in control. I guess they're about to be in control. And I've seen uh, interesting responses online. Uh, I'm not going to say nobody's names because I'm not doing that, but uh, I'll try to find it. But, you know, there's, there's the camp that is cool, okay. You know, cool. We'll see what happens. But I see, see more than not then, oh, this is going to be terrible. I got a bad feeling about this. Or, oh, I'm going to screw it up. And I'm trying to understand why do we, why do people feel that way uh, that they're going to possibly screw it up as opposed to, and I'm not saying the current estate holder screwed it up, but that bank had no, as far as I know, had never worked with Prince or worked with any artist of that stature before to be releasing music and stuff. And they seem to do okay. They, they got people, they hired people to kind of consult for them or whatever. But if a bank can do it, I don't, why wouldn't they be able to do the same thing? Or why the assumption that it's going to be screwed up all of a sudden? With that said, if you want to answer the question, you can. And Pooh, what do you think? I'm confused and I need Mark to explain how this all worked out in the sense that uh, Comerica is out and now this estate thing is settled. Uh, I, I was just kind of like, I don't get it. So please, I'm, I'm going to defer to the lawyer. I'm hoping this means that the remaining uh, heirs that are still uh, on, I don't know, is it a state? Please help me explain what that is or not, um, are going to get paid what is owed to them. And hopefully they'll be able to collaborate to get more content pushed out and really, you know, engage with the fan base. I, I did see a number that they're supposed to each get like two million something dollars. You know, Great. Paid so, out. And, and then is, like all of the liens that other lawyers had against the uh, family. I saw Amer Mardell got it back. Comerica got to pay that out. Once all that is paid out, and again, Comerica was really essentially only the trustee of the estate and part of the duty of a trustee is to ensure and make the trust property grow and be profitable, which is you know, what Comerica has done pretty much. And now that the trust is settled and the estate is settled. Actually, we don't know that. Do we? Well, it, it, well, hold on, hold on. If they say it's settled in this last paperwork, then it's settled. It's no, I'm over. saying we don't know if they made it profitable. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We don't know how any of these products sold. It was profitable. It was profitable. Uh, it's an assumption. I'm just saying you, 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 you acknowledge that. It is an assumption. Well, it's definitely an assumption, but that's all I'm saying. Again, think about it. When you have, you know, music that's already completed, right? And now, actually, now, you, now you got me. See, damn that's it, what me. I'm saying. We don't, we don't know how much any of this, these products we cost to make. We gotta get some sales figures now. <laughs> right? We God don't know. It. We don't know the budget. What it take to make these products? And yeah. we certainly don't know how if they turn to profit. That's all I'm saying. We don't know if it's profit. We don't know, but it's over now. We just and know that they was collecting monies and paying people. It, it says that in the article, they were paying out millions, tens of millions of dollars every year to people who work for your state. That's what we do know. And another thing, you know, again, in addition to making it profitable, you got to keep, you know, ex explicitly detailed records because there will be an audit some, at some point. We have so many people involved. Now that it is done, apparently, the Comerica, not uh, Comerica, the uh, primary wave people ooh, and the surviving heirs must work together now because right. we've read that the music is going to be transferred back to Paisley. Hopefully, they'll have an, what's it called, Iron Mountain or Stone Mountain or something like that, where the stuff is now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they'll have a facility like that built on site to keep it there, which is great. Uh, one of the siblings, I don't know who, 
said they want to start releasing more music. That's fine. And again, we've talked about this on the show. You know, there are models out there of other artists who who do this on their own, you know, platform. You know, Neil Young does it. You know, a lot of people have their own thing of saying, look, you come to me and I'll turn you on to my stuff. And the Prince fan base will definitely support this. Definitely. So the fact that this is hopefully out, resolved, something's in my eye. <laughs> you throw me okay. off there for a second. Sorry, <laughs> you threw me off. Um, hopefully that this is now resolved. They can get back to, you know, being more provo- proactive about his legacy and protecting it and getting things out that, you know, we as fans, we have no say in this. But we as fans are going to buy it anyway. So let's just continue to keep it moving because I got an alert on my Facebook thing. One year ago today, my Coming to America vinyl arrived. So that means a year without new music. I need more. <laughs> well, they gave you the Purple Rain vibe. Which does yeah. sound great. I was playing that last night. You know, like you said, you know, Brown Mark did his thing. Mm-hmm. But I need, I need more. Well, let's read a little bit from the family on this. Some of the comments. Uh, this is from Sharon Nelson says, uh, what's the most important thing you think about when you think of Prince? The music. Absolutely. And where is it? It isn't here. So we're going to bring it back. That's what we're going to do. Uh, it says, for the family, it's all about music. They want to bring the music back that was moved from its vault in Paisley Park. Bring it back. She says, uh, once we have the music, then we're going to get the real good sound that they should have had six years ago. Let me read that back. Once we have the music, I guess once we have possession of them, we can go through. Then we're going to get to the real good sound that they should have had six years ago. We're going to bring his original music out. What do you think she means by that? This could be one of two things, one of several things. Hopefully, uh, the first you know posthumous release was um wasn't that overseen by oh my man welton wasn't that him who essentially like just turned the knobs up on everything i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> what yeah i think on the purple rain one <clears throat> the first purple rain are you one. talking about the, the purple rain uh, reissue or remaster? yeah yeah you well know, that was uh, actually made when prince was alive he was in control of that, but he let. But Welton had a big hand in the production sure. and mixing of that. So did Prince, you know. But and as the releases have come, you know, in succession, they've all sounded better and better and better. Mm-hmm. The problem, potential problem, is when you have so many people, so many you know cooks in the kitchen, who's going to call the shot? Well, I want to get so and so. Well, I want to get such and such. Well, let's get this new guy. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, because there's a there's a split in the Prince community. Some people say, "Look, if we can get Jam and Lewis, get him." Some people say, "If we can get you know Winnie and Lisa, get him." Some people say, "If we can get you know Femi Jaya, get him." You know, it's like, look, let's let's hopefully let cooler heads prevail here, and well, you know, give this some real deep thought on how best to proceed here. Because a lot of this stuff really does need a remaster, especially the earlier stuff. Because you listen to, like, you know, The Sign of the Times now and the original one, night and day. So, so you think did, she's talking about the sound quality? I think she's talking about, I'm, I'm hoping she's think, talking about the sound quality. That's how I took it. Gotcha, gotcha. And Pooh, what do you think she meant by that? I want, I want to... We're going to get the real good sound that they should have had six years ago. We're going to bring his original music out. I have no idea. This and is an older I, black woman saying this. Putting that out there too. I'm confused right, by. Oh well, no, I'm just. It, I think it matters. <laughs> I I'm confused by two things she said. One bringing this. One bringing the music back to Paisley or to Minneapolis. I thought that they made that decision to move it out of there is because the masters were in poor shape and where they were bringing it to would uh, help with keeping the degradation. 
And two, as far as that sound, you know, I guess you're trying to hint at, you know, an older black woman as far as some of the more black sounding stuff coming out. That I'm not sure. I don't know what she's listened to that's in that vault. So for me, I think it's going to be more so the purple, the purple rain pop era is coming back. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. I want Love Sexy Live out. That's what I want. Right. Put I, I that think, out. I think she's talking about the styled styling of the music. I wouldn't be surprised if she's meaning that classic Minneapolis. The first thing you because she remember she says, "What's the most important thing you think about when you think of Prince? The music." And then she goes on to talk about the real good music, and she's telling you whatever they've been doing for the last six years that ain't it in her opinion right she made a point to say six years from today so i think she's talking about that classic prince sound she says we're going to bring his original music out all the music they've put out has been original music so i don't think she's not never saying they never play original music i think she's talking about the original kind of what some people think of prince when they think of him so I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to push or she would be trying to push for, you know, that, you know, uh, 80s early shit that we fell in love with at the beginning type of shit, That's as opposed funny. to maybe what she thinks has been going on the last six years, which has been Purple Rain stuff and Sign of the Times, the originals. If they did a, a Dirty Mind remaster, shit, I'm the first one in line. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was listening to um, uh, the Beatles last night, listening to, uh, God, their, their Let It Be album, the brand new, you know, remaster overseen by George Martin and all that. And I compared it with the original recording. Oh, my God. If they get, you know, if they pick the right people to oversee the remastering of, you know, Dirty Mind and Controversy, oh, it will be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read a little bit more comments here. So inside the courtroom, Prince's attorney spoke about the loss of two of Prince's siblings, Alfred Jackson and John L. Nelson, during the battle for the estate. Quote, which calls into question some of the laws of the state of Minnesota and how we can possibly look for future laws to possibly protect elders and people in situations like this so that they don't have to go through such a rigorous progress, said L. Uh, Londell McMillan. Three of Prince's heirs sold their interest to a company called Primary Wave, dividing heirs into two camps. Quote, they could have at least followed us, but they didn't. But it's okay, Nelson said. In the end, family pulled together because it's all about the music and Prince's legacy. Quote, we have no choice. We have to work together, said Nelson. So it sounds like to me, even though there was some division, you know, some family sold their company, some of their shares to this big company. Some of them decided to stay with themselves. Even she said, hey, you know what? It's all good now. We're going to work together. We got to. I'm adding, we all we got. <laughs> <laughs> so I have high hopes for this. I'm like, cool. The family's in control. They can, get, they can get some bread and let's see what happens. Uh, some of the comments, like she said, she's making comments about the music and saying it's going to be different. I'm intrigued. You know, I'm curious to see what that means. I've liked what we've gotten the last six years. It's been cool. Uh, some great releases. I think the biggest one for me personally was the Sign of Times. I, I, the, the 1999 one was stellar as well. Uh, but we've also seen things where I think people, the fans were like, man, we're kind of seeing the same people being spotlighted. You know, can they switch it up? We seem to not hear from certain people. Some conspiracy theorists be like, ah, we're not really hearing from them. Yeah. So hopefully now we got people of the cult, you know, say what you want about Londell McMillan. He do understand what Prince means to people, particularly, you know, us and like, you know, Lindell's, he had, uh, he'd been around Michael. W wasn't Lindell in that book, the Michael book with the, the security guards? And Lindell gave Mike his credit card, said, Mike, you, you don't got money problems? 
I'll float you, playboy. I got you. Now, Mike ran his cards. <laughs> 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 but I, I give him the props to do that, though. Because like, that's Michael Jackson. I know what you mean. Somebody got their music playing. And, of course, you know, Londo, I don't know if he still owns it, but he owns the Source magazine. You know, they, they always do the Power 50 or whatever that is, and he always makes a point to give props to people in the industry who's doing stuff for the culture. So I'm curious to see what this will do. Now, of course, Jay-Z came out blasting on it, but that's big, that's big boss foolishness talk that them brothers should have kept under wraps. But other side from that, at least we know, this is how my take it, at least... Whether you agree or not, at least we know who the people are now. Before, it's just some faceless people who, who was in control. You don't know what's, you don't know who's accountable or who do you, who, you know, who you should be talking about that's making choices. Now we can say, well, it's the families making choices, primary way of making choices. And now we can know who to, whose feet to hold to the fire if we have to. But I'll be tribal to say, I, I, I am happy to have some black folks. The family that's in control. Now, they could trick it off. It's quite possible. Same way with the, the bank could trick it off or don't know what they're doing and, and act goofy and do stuff like they did to Morris. It could go either way. But I'm intrigued. Uh, it's a, I think this is a celebration, personally. Because I would tell, and I'm a, I'll do that after this. I'm pretty sure Prince, even if he didn't leave a will for his family, I don't think he worked all them years. And if you would have said, hey, Prince, you know, when you're going to be gone, bro, you know, the bankers, they're going to eat off you, playboy. Their kids going to college, <laughs> all of the music you think you're doing, you own, they're going to take that. I bet you, fuck that. <laughs> I don't think he would have been like, I don't care. Like, Shit. So I'm glad that at least it's going partly there. And we'll see what happens, man. And poo. You did weigh in, but I don't, I, I don't know if you... Yeah, I did, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm good. Well, Big Sexy, do you have anything you just want to add? No, I mean, let's just see where it goes. You know, they've got the uh, ownership as family, you know, since there was in the will, it goes to them. They have it. What are you going to do with it? Right. So. You know, because I look at, you know, over at the Michael Jackson side of town, not a lot has come out from, from that crew. And they're cashing the check. They don't. What they don't need to do nothing. Mike already but, did the work. But they did. They did the one album was Escape. Was that the one? Right. And since then, wait till wait till the money get low. <laughs> 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 they eating so good. Uh, Mike had already laid it down. So it's just like pfft, Thriller still Thriller selling like hotcakes. Well, we need to release anything. Now I, mean, I know for the fan perspective, yeah, you. But I'm just saying, they are running a business. They're not running a fan appreciation organization. And they don't care. You know, you know what I mean? They look, the estate is swimming in, and swimming in dough. So for us, it's like, well, why are they not doing nothing? But, you know, if you look at it from this, we eat. You ain't got to do nothing. The, the Jackson family <laughs> is paid. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're successful. Michael won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> We we nigga, we gonna do nothing. We don't have to shuck and jive to go out there and, and make you happy. We already he did that, so we don't have to. All we gotta do is reap the blessings. I I I take that as a win personally. I, shit, if my family didn't have to do a goddamn thing, how come they don't put out no more Prince podcast? Nigga, his kids are paid. I would be in heaven happy. I'm not worried about putting out enough. Now, but again, I. I am a fan, so I, I want the stuff too. The same way with Prince, I would want them to put stuff out. But I would also, well, I wouldn't be mad if the Prince estate was in the position where they were just clocking bag truckloads of money and they didn't have to do nothing. I'm like, that's what Prince was working for. He won then. That's more important to me personally, but I get the other side too. But yeah, Mike, the Jackson estate, that's a different thing, man. You know, I want the Prince of State to be in that position where he's like, you know what, we can, we can slow play. The, 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 the grandbabies, is, everyone is caked up and taken care of. The Nelsons are winning. You know? There's so some dude on Twitter is crying because he didn't get the bootleg release. Man, relax. But anyway, um, 
Oh yeah, the, we'll just jump in on this. The, the uh, Beyonce album had leaked. Remember a couple of days earlier or something like that, or a week earlier. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a big thing online. Like the Beehive got they weren't Uh-oh. having. <laughs> You better not download it. Real fans don't ever do that. I was like, wow. <laughs> and I said something on Twitter. I was like, you know, you know, I said, I said other fan bases have damn near got bootleg record companies <laughs> to, to put out this shit. But the Beehive, <laughs> they on cold, cold. I was like, I respect that. He was like, Beyonce worked too hard, and you niggas ain't gonna be listening to it two days before. You better respect the queen. I was like, okay. <laughs> Shit. I need the that energy. is real. Yeah, they, they on cold with her. I said, I love it. I love it. Because I know what I'm saying. The Prince community, nigga. <laughs> Not like that. (laughs) See, they have Blu rays for sale if they could. (laughs) Inlay 15 booklet, page book. (laughs) I don't give a damn where the money (laughs) goes. We want the music. (laughs) Uh, Lord. They don't know this needs to be free for the public to see. Right, (laughs) right. Knowing if you took their shit. Oh, wait a minute. That's different. different. I need my my money. 